basic boy clip. Sippin' walk hard She pray for my fall so I flex hard She pray for my fall so I flex hard I'm a rock star Got money in my jeans Sippin' walk hard She pray for my fall so I flex hard She pray for my fall so I flex hard Hey, tell me you reach for the stars And I reach for the hearts Yeah, no ties, yeah, give me art Thinkin' I need to restart I wanna go to go far Yeah, I wanna go to go far Got money in my jeans, so don't walk hard She pray for my fall, so I flex hard She pray for my fall, so I flex hard I'm a rock star Got money in my jeans, so don't walk hard She pray for my fall, so I flex hard She pray for my fall, so I flex hard I'm a rock star Got money in my jeans, so don't walk hard she pray for my fall, so I flex hard. She pray for my fall, so I flex hard. And if you wanna go, you can go now. I just hit the road, it's a showdown. Got a little bitch, I'm gonna slow down. Got a lot of bands, I can blow now. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that little montage back there, but I'm back again with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Today I'll be showing you how you can get a lot better sniper in multiplayer and in Warzone. I'm going to talk you through my setup, which I use, and all the attachments that I've put on my guns. I'll then talk you through some of the top tips that will help you improve your aim, get better, and basically make you a pro at sniping. But before we get started guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what your favourite sniper is in the game and why. I'd really like to know and also be helping me out. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, now I'll be talking you through my class setup, which I mainly use in multiplayer. The sniper that I've been using is the AX-50. Now this gun, in my opinion, is probably the best sniper in the game, especially for quick scoping enemies, as it has really good damage and amazing accuracy. Now the attachments that I am using on the AX-50 is the 17 inch factory barrel. This gives you an extra aim down sight speed and movement speed. This is perfect for quick scoping enemies while on the move. Now for the TAT laser, this is probably one of the most important attachments you can put on the sniper. This is because it gives you the all important aim down sight speed, aim instability and aim walking steadiness. This attachment is going to be crucial in order to get them nasty quick scopes. However, the only con with this attachment is that your laser will be visible so I suggest that you don't hard scope enemies to give you away your position. Mm. Now for the optic, but this is totally up to you and it's personal preference really, but using the VLK and Kronen will give you an extra aim down sight speed, which is pretty nice. But personally I felt that using the stock optic was a really good was really good for quick scopes, but also gives you a lot of zoom at greater ranges, which is very effective. And moving on to the stock, I'm using the Syngard Arms Assassin, which is also really important as it also gives you a faster aim down sight speed. Now for the perk, personally I use focus, this helps me because if I'm aiming at the enemy and they're shooting at me, I won't flinch. This is because I have flinch resistance and I can carry on shooting without losing the position of my sight, which is something I find really common in games, and this perk could help you win a lot more gunfights. However, I do recommend choosing the perk based on your playstyle, as you may want to use sleight of hand if you want a faster reload time to allow you to run around the map killing people quickly and easily, or if you want more bullets in your magazine then I would recommend using fully loaded. And lastly for the rear grip I'm rocking the stipled grip tape. This attachment also gives you a faster aim down sight speed and a faster sprint to fire speed. However you are sacrificing a bit of stability. And then I have no attachments on ammunition or under barrel. Right now let's get on to the car 98k which is my second weapon that I use alongside the AX50. Now for the KAR 98k I'm not using a muzzle or a barrel either. But like the AX50, I'm using that TAC laser as it gives you all those important bonuses. 
Now onto the optic. Again, it's personal preference, but I really enjoy using the sniper scope. This is because I like the feel of the sniper rather than something like a reflex sight. Then for the stock, I'm using the FTAC Sport Comb as it gives me more aim down sight speed. That's pretty much it for that attachment. Now for the perk, I'm using sleight of hand. This allows me to reload quicker. However, I could have used the focus like I did on the X50. But with the car, I like using it in heated scenarios and being able to run around without having to wait to reload. However, you could have used focus, but I prefer that attachment on the X. And finally, for the rear grip, I'm using the Stiple Grip Tape. Again, this is for a higher aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Pretty straightforward, and that's going to wrap it up for the car 98. Now moving on to the perks. For perks, I'm using Double Time, Overkill, and Amp. This is so I can run faster and have two primary weapons at once. And finally, I'm just using the C4 and the Stim. Right, now let's talk through some tips and tricks that will help you get better at sniping. Right guys, now that I'm in a bot lobby, I'm going to be teaching you how you can drag scope and quit scope effectively. After the quit scope, you want to keep the little white dot in the centre of your screen aiming towards the enemy at all times. This is so that when you aim down the sight, you'll be already aiming at the enemy and you won't have to be wasting time having to drag the scope. In real time, it should look like this. Okay guys, now moving on to the drag scope. This shot is where you aim to the side of the enemy and drag your scope across their body horizontally. The aim assist will kick in and allow you to aim at the enemy perfectly. And this shot gives you more of a chance of landing your shot. Now if you put the quick scope and the drag scope together, you should get something that looks a lot like this. Okay guys, now I'm going to go into a bit of kill confirmed, I'm going to show you what the two snipers can do. I'm going to do a bit of drag scoping and quick scoping, and just basically show you what I can do really. Hope you enjoy. I'm a rock star, got money in my jeans, sippin' walk hard She prayin' for my fall, so I flex hard She prayin' for my fall, so I flex hard I'm a rock star, got money in my jeans, sippin' walk hard She prayin' for my fall, so I flex hard She prayin' for my fall, so I flex hard Go now, I'm in the road, it's a showdown 